thump, you became number one in the world in pole vault. There, there is no one that is jumping higher than you. Does that put a target on your back, not just in collegiate competition, but now Olympic competition? Um, maybe a little bit. I mean, Mondo Duplantis hasn't opened a season yet, and I think he opens up next week or the week after, so I'm sure he'll take it back. But, um, but for now, yeah, I am number one in the world, so that's a pretty exciting feat that I can say I have right now. Um, I don't know if I would really call it a target. I think everybody's kind of – it's, you jump against yourself and what, what the aspect is. But I mean, now I guess somebody could put the bar at 595 and if they make it, then they take the world lead. So then I guess I would have to go higher to do that. But that's really the only target aspect because in the long run, it's you against the bar. It's whatever happens, happens. You say whatever happens, happens, but obviously you're still a competitive person. You want to win. Is there some competitive tension that goes down after knowing hey nobody at this meet can even touch me is there still the same amount of butterflies going into meets like that for you uh yeah i mean it's kind of the same amount i mean whether there's people there or not it's it's a solo event so it's like you, you can never get that out because you're, you're competing against yourself and you can never lose any butterflies that you have for doing that i mean you can get you can gain more if somebody else is there because there's more competition but the butterflies, they, they're, they're always a little standard, a standard amount that doesn't really change. Wow. So how